We are a couple who are brand new to sailing. We're two transplanted Newfoundlanders living 2,600 miles away from home in Atlanta. Normally, we like to travel, and over the years, we've gone around the world with our kids. We've been going a bit stir-crazy, so we took classes and joined our local club. We'd like to give you a little taste of what we're learning and share bits and pieces of what it means to be a Newfoundlander along the way. We may be a little kitschy, but that's just who we are. Newfoundland has a long, rich history. Both Brian and I have grown up in Newfoundland and Labrador and love everything about it. We also tend to forget that a lot of the words and expressions that we use as Newfoundlanders are not necessarily used by the broader population. And I think pond is an example of one of these differences. You know, we're 36 minutes from the lake. I mean, like door to door. Um, it's pretty crazy. It's so close. And we keep on talking about being on the lake. Well, if we were at home and we were on the ocean, we wouldn't say, well, here we are on the ocean again. We'd say, we're out on the water. And I think about all the things that are so different. If we were home, people would say, you know, are you going up to the pond? As big as this lake is in Newfoundland, this is a pond. Uh, because we've got, like, it's just scale. I mean, when you look at the ocean, everything else is a pond. And that's just it. So, yeah, we keep on saying the word lake. Yeah, Lake Ontario, Lake Superior, uh, you know, Lake Erie, they are serious lakes, I mean, close to the ocean. So for people that sail on those lakes, yeah, uh, I get it. That's, that is a seriously big lake. And you know, that's, that's a capital L. But for us, this is kind of like a big pond. Uh, we are kind of hemmed in by the bridge up here. Can't see it, because it, it's quite a ways up the lake. I mean, Lake Sydney Lanier is not a small lake by any long stretch. It's a man-made lake dammed at Buford Dam. And we'll hopefully show you that soon. Now, the last time we were kind of close to the dam, no one had, it, uh, no one had out uh, their cameras. <laughs> They're hanging out for dear life, so to speak. But this morning, as you can see, it's a nice morning. And we will definitely be able to show you pictures of the dam when we get down to there. So what is Brian going on about? I imagine everyone is familiar with the expression cross the pond to describe a trip across the Atlantic Ocean. This is kind of the same idea and it's rooted in British origins. So pretty well every body of water besides the ocean in Newfoundland is called a pond. It is the natural default. of pond related activities. We have pond ice, we play pond hockey, there's a pond gull, and now, and now there's pond sailing. Now, I grew up a forest pond in the Ghouls. Within a stone's throw, there were three other ponds. First pond, second pond, and third pond. And fourth pond wasn't far away, it was up off the main road. And if it was a really big pond, then we tended to include it in its name. Take a look at Babel's Big Pond, which is between the Ghouls and Babel's. It's a pretty big pond. I think maybe 35 square miles. Correct me if I'm wrong. Now, let's just bring this back to Lake Lanier. Lake Lanier is a man-made lake. And it's reported to be, I don't know, 57, 60 square miles. And the main part of the lake looks like it's around 11 miles long. There may be more, but certainly this is, this is just to make my point. But I want to take this back to Newfoundland again. There is Western Brook Pond, which is magnificent in Grossmore National Park. It's over nine miles long and has some of the best scenery in the world. And it's called a pond.
back to Lake Lanier. It was a beautiful day. We did manage to sail to the bottom of the lake where you can see the causeway and the dam itself. It's a pretty big, pretty impressive dam. We're happy we made it to the bottom of the lake. We don't get down there very often, but a dam is a dam. What's interesting is we spent all this time talking about pond versus lake and pond sailing. And interesting enough, all the way back, if you look at the ponds that I showed you that I grew up nearby, first pond, second pond, third pond, fourth pond, first pond actually did have its own its own dam attached to it and a power generating station that was originally went into operation in 1900 in Petty Harbor, Newfoundland. We hope you've enjoyed our brief Newfie anecdote about ponds versus lake. Let us know if you like this and if you have any particular questions about Newfoundland that you'd like us to answer as we continue to pursue our passion for sailing. See you next time.